Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Band of Brothers Old Breed South Pacific. This is designed by Dean Halley and Jim Crone from Worthington Publishing. This is the newest in the Band of Brothers series. We had uh, uh, Ghost Panzer, Screaming Eagles, and Texas Arrows, which was a expansion for both of them, and then there was a couple other expansions. Uh, with some larger battles and now this one is the old breed and moves it over into the pacific front so we have eastern front western front and now pacific so this is a two-player war game of course you can true solo it playing both sides if you want there's some hidden information but I'll, you know war gamers can work around that kind of stuff so let's crack it open see what you get inside hey if you're enjoying these videos be sure to give us a like and a share don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You'll remember I did uh, an unboxing of the deluxe, deluxified version of the uh, Big Brothers of this game. Um, sorry, a little glare going there. Um, uh, Screaming Eagles and Ghost Panzer and Texas Arrows when they came out a few years ago, so you'll find those on the channel. All right, so we start out with the scenario book right on top. This is pretty heavy. Uh, it's probably about 60 pages. Let's see. It is an indeterminate number of pages. It is not numbered. So, uh, kind of a glossy magazine stock. Uh, the scenario numbering starts at, well, there's training scenario one and two. And then you start right at scenario 49. So the numbering picks up where the other scenarios left off. Um, so it is a scenario book, unfortunately. Uh, one thing they did with the um, with the Kickstarter is all the scenarios are released as as a cardstock. It was very nice because then you don't have to have a book out when you're doing your scenario um, because the scenarios usually have a track on the you know the turn and stuff like that. So uh, it was always nice that you could just have a card out to do that. But it's functional. So as it says, we have, I doesn't tell you how many scenarios there are. So let's see, it goes from 49, I think we started at 47, 49. Not counting train scenarios, we've got 49 through 68. So it's quite a bit here. That's what, uh, 19, 20 scenarios. So that's pretty cool. Yakuza. And some of them use single maps, some of them use multiple maps. We'll look at those maps in a minute. This one promised uh, mounted maps. So that'll be cool. All right. And we have uh, the Band of Brothers Rules version 2.2. And these come in at 36 pages. These are numbered. And they are full color. Uh, Definitely, definitely upgraded. The uh, seem to go into more detail. As I recall, the 2.0 rules uh, were more thin and, and less graphical. These are very dense, though. They don't have a lot of, you know, artwork, uh, examples of rules. And then and I say that, and then we get to here. Here's traits of both vehicle, for both vehicles and guns. And now we get weapons. It is. It does have the little faux uh, tabs on the side to kind of help you find the sections you're looking for, which is nice. And then we've got the terrain, and obviously you're going to have some special terrain rules for the Pacific versus uh, Europe. But it is a lot of text. But it's big. It's big print. So it shouldn't be too hard to to uh, get through, and then we do have a do have an example of play here, small one. All right, so there's that, and then we've got the uh, game boards, and these are, in fact, let's see, yes, they are mounted, hinge mounted. So we've gone from cardstock maps to you know, very thick mounted maps to now 
fully mounted, bifold, um, similar to another game, I won't name it, but uh, very good quality. Geomorphic maps, so you can combine them, put them, uh, put them side by side in various combinations. Looks like we have trails, rivers, obviously lots of jungle terrain, and they're double-sided. So this is map 29. That was map 30, I believe. Yeah, map 30. And then 29, the lagoon, or beach, fields. So there's one, two, we've got a big hill to fight for. It's map 32, map 31. Again, jungle with some openings. Open areas. Now map 34. Some more elevation. Large hexes, which is nice. Village. And the fourth map. Number 36, the river. And there's just a big hill here for number 35. For hilly area. All right, so those are nice, I like those. Now we've got our counters. And these are all pre-rounded, which is very awesome. Let's see what we got here. All right, so we've got US forces. Pretty much the same graphics. They do have these little stripes to, to, to delineate which, I guess, group they're in. You have to keep them sorted by that and the unit type. And then we do have some AFVs. Got some uh, fast attack boats, bulldozers to take down some terrain. They're very thick. Oh, actually they're not too thick, but they're very sturdy. So, good quality. We got the Japanese, they've got the rising sun behind them. Americans have, a, have the, uh, looks like the Marine Corps logo behind them. A lot of Japanese counters, a lot of Japanese artillery. Some tanks. There are conceal markers, our foxhole markers for both sides, artilleries, bunkers, caves, a monsoon. Does that just move across the terrain? We have one cave that's misprinted. That's intentional or not. Cave cave. Cave cave. It's a double cave. They caved in when they made that. And then we've got the smaller markers, which are also pre-rounded. Your op fire movement markers, I think they're yeah, used. Smoke is dispersed. Suppressed, sustained fire. More op fire, unconfirmed kill. Flank attack, illumination. Command points, no hill. Imperial Japanese Army Company fatigue. And they also have the yellow, uh, blue, and red bands to delineate different squads, different uh, different platoons. One thing I thought was interesting, I missed it here, is we have hubs. Okay, so the companies, they're companies. This is the third company hub. So was, command and control may play a little bit more into this game, first company hub, than previous games. All right, then we've got our player aid card. There should be two of these. Yep, there are two. They are coded card stock, the quality. And we got a terrain chart with graphic examples of the terrain, so you can compare it to the beautiful artwork on the maps. And then situations, hindering terrain, conceal, Japanese conceal, adjacent, etc. And then, uh, Worthington has been doing inserts since the reprint, pretty much since the reprints of uh, 
uh, Bandit Brothers uh, a few years ago. They, they came with a tray, and now most of their games come with, with a tray. This is a variation of the, the uh, common trays I got now, which is kind of nice. And this has the two dice in it that work, and black beat red three to two, unless it's golf and then and the white one. Uh, it's got these uh, dividers for uh, the units, which is nice, and then these will hold your accessories and your counters. Uh, and things you can bag them and then put them in there, but then you, know, you can line up your uh, your units and keep them organized. So that's pretty cool. Nice they included that. So if you were to pick up a copy of Band of Brothers, The Old Breed by Worthington Publishing, you're going to get that tray to organize everything with two dice. You're going to get two copies of the terrain reference card and player aid card. And we're going to get one, two, three, four, five sheets of counters and markers. You're going to get those four beautiful double-sided mounted maps. Those are a really nice addition. Nice upgrade to the system. I hope they've, they've extended this to the uh, previous, the new reprints of the previous games. And the 2.2 rule book, which is 60, 36 pages too big 36 pages and then the unknown number of pages but it contains 20 scenarios for old breed south pacific and that's everything that comes in old breed south pacific by band of brothers designed by dean Halley, jim cron and brought to us by worthington publishing thank you so much for watching god bless you bye, -bye.